So I was born and raised in Senegal, but then later on, my family came to the United States. My culture and everything are related and based in Islam, religion and culture. So I was actually raised Roman Catholic originally. As I grew up, I started learning more about my family's history. My ancestors were Vikings. I am the, the son of a Nigerian father and Dominican mother. So I was born from university, <laughs> um, molded by it, you could say. The United States is considered a melting pot. So we have all these traditions, cultures, beliefs, it's become part of who we are, but at the same time, a lot of those pieces are separate. Somebody else's beliefs are completely different from my beliefs, but that's okay. And I think the religious diversity piece is also honoring those differences, celebrating those differences, respecting those differences, exactly as I would honor, celebrate, and respect my own beliefs. I think it's, it's super important that soldiers feel like they have the freedom, they're not gonna be pressured you know, from their leadership or anyone to believe a certain worldview. The people in my religion, they're allowing us to have a exception of policy for our beard growth. And like other religions, they're allowing like turban, as long as you have definitive proof that that is truly your religion. Even if a soldier is of a different faith than the chaplains, the chaplains are prepared and they will go the extra mile to accommodate and find services for, for soldiers to attend. When I am not performing my Sunday service, my focus is then on ensuring that everybody has the opportunity to practice their faith in the manner that they want to practice their faith. So it, again, it's going back to that honoring, celebrating, and respecting the religious diversity piece. And part of that is just making sure that if a soldier has a special service, that week that there is an opportunity for them to attend that special service. I attend Agape Carson, that's the, the chapel service I attend on Saturdays, actually right here in the Soldiers Memorial Chapel. If you go to the Chaplain Corps Museum at Fort Jackson, there is a copy of George Washington's letter to the Continental Congress requesting the establishment of the Chaplain Corps. So we have been part of the Army since the very beginning. Our purpose has never really changed. We've always been there to provide for the religious freedom of soldiers since 1775, and we continue to do that same mission. Honestly, I've never had any issues since I joined the Army. I was able to do my basic training with my hijab on. As you can see, I still, I'm still wearing it. And here in my unit also, my NCO are really understandable. 